What's going on, Jeff fans? Just wrapped up practice. Going to give you the bold points. If you appreciate it, a thumbs up is an easy way to show it and subscribe if you want them all summer long. So first things first, some injury notes. Dwayne Brown uh, was back yesterday after his personal uh, excused absence from practice. But as soon as he returned, they did put him on the pup list. So he's not practicing quite yet. So the offensive line first team uh, today was Max Mitchell at left tackle, Billy Turner at right, Lakin and AVT at tackles, McGovern at center with Becton and rookie uh, Joe Tipman working with the twos on the offensive line. Overall, offense was humming today. Aaron Rodgers, I mean, the arm strength, we all know that, but the adjustments to the line of scrimmage, the short, quick, yak intended throws, just a rhythm to the offense, having a veteran there uh, is already starting to make its mark, a coach on the field. Uh, Rodgers to Garrett Wilson, chemistry dialing up. I have a couple of uh, video clips down below in the description you can check out of Rodgers hitting Garrett Wilson for a 25-yard gain, uh, scrambling outside, hitting Garrett Wilson for a toe drag swag touchdown. Uh, there was a sidearm throw to Wilson who broke away for a big yak uh, intended gain. So he's going to be the version of Devontae Adams in this offense. I'm not saying he's as good as Devontae, but he's going to be the true alpha who's going to get, you know, 120 targets. Uh, and I, I could see double digit touchdowns and 1400 plus yards at a Garrett Wilson this season. No doubt about it. A uh, couple of other players who stood out on offense, Alan Lazard, big day, two big gains over the middle. Uh, also caught uh, Sauce Gardner on a pass interference on a nice corner route uh, on a double move on the rookie there or the second year player. Tyler Conklin, two touchdowns. We didn't beat in the Tyler Conklin drum. Uh, it's real. He's going to have a huge impact on this offense. Nick Bodden, fullback, has been featured early and often with the first, second, and third team offenses. So I think it's kind of his job to lose. I really think they want to keep a fullback on this team. If they were able to keep 60 guys, I think he'd be a lock. We'll see if he cracks the final 53, but does seem like they have a, a role carved out for Nick Bodden. Bam Knight, more of the first team uh, running back reps today, looked shifty per Dennis Wazak Jr. Uh, Michael Carter kind of delegated to second team reps after he fumbled uh, early on. That's just kind of how coaches are when running backs fumble. Second team offense, another very strong day for backup quarterback Zach Wilson, who had uh, a highlight throw to undrafted free agent wide receiver Jason Brownlee, who mossed Brandon Eccles for a big gain. Jason Brownlee is uh, certified camp darling now, and I think it's he's got to be the favorite to win the wide receiver six job for sure. Uh, Kenny Eboa also had a one-handed touchdown catch from Zach Wilson. Zach Koontz also featured uh, with the second and third team offense quite a bit. Uh, I did note drops by Miko Hardman, Tyler Conklin, and Garrett Wilson. Although the Garrett Wilson one I did see a video of, and it looked like so Sauce, you could have called it a pass breakup. Either way you want to go there. Fumbles by Michael Carter and uh, Zach Wilson on the day. Over to the defensive side of the football, the starting defensive line to start out was JFM and JJ on the ends with Quinton Williams, now Woods on the interior. So really interesting to see how much they play Jermaine Johnson versus Carl Lawson. Either way, that's a good problem to have. Sacks by Quinton, JJ, and Michael Clemens had the, the strip sack on Zach, which I don't know how you're allowed to really do that to a quarterback in camp, but um, apparently that happened. Uh, pass breakups by... Jordan Whitehead, DJ Reed, and Sauce Gardner. A couple of defensive backs that stood out. Langford, undrafted free agent corner. Again, second solid day. I think he could be coming for Bryce Hall's job. Trey Dean ended practice with a nice uh, pass breakup. And the fumbles forced were by Clemens, who got Zach. And then Sherwood is the guy who popped the fumble loose from Michael Carter. Sherwood is his job to lose, it seems, at linebacker three. Uh, there it is. And uh, we'll talk about soon.